Hello, New Salem family. Pastor Craig coming to you on a Thursday afternoon. Hoping all is well with you and yours. Um, this is just one more opportunity, one more uh, tool at my disposal, I guess, to get some information out to you that you may have already received by now. You may have gotten it through our phone tree. You may have gotten a text. Uh, so, so a couple of different ways that this is going out through through our every every channel that we have. You may have gotten a phone call by now. Um, but it basically boils down to this: because of the rising numbers of the of coronavirus uh, in Washington County and and in some of our sister churches, uh, several of our sister churches have have reverted, gone back to phase one, gone back to doing just online church or just drive up church, no no gathering in person. And I don't want that in New Salem. If there's any way that we can avoid that. If there's anything that I can do, any decisions that we can make as a church leadership that might prevent that from happening, I'm, I'm enjoying it too much. I'm loving having you back in the building with me. I'm loving the idea of us gathering for worship, and I don't want us to run a risk of having to to stop that. So because, because of that heart's desire of your pastor and your church leadership, uh, we made a decision last Sunday. Uh, we've enacted a new Facebook page. Facebook, a new face mask policy uh, that'll go into effect this coming Sunday, August the 9th. Now, you know our building as well as I do, and you know that maintaining good social distancing is tough in our foyer and coming in and out of the doors and getting into the building. Um, so here's, here's what we're asking. While you're moving in and out of the sanctuary, when social distancing is the hardest, we're asking that you wear a mask. Uh, this Sunday morning, starting at 9 a.m. in the 9 a.m. service, masks will be optional but encouraged. That's the kind of the phrase that we settle on, optional but encouraged. But during the 11 a.m. service, masks are going to be required. They'll be available there at the front door for those that may show up and not have one. We don't want to turn folks away. Uh, all that we're asking you to do is, is wear one when you're making your way into the doors, into the, the, the foyer, through, across the foyer, into the sanctuary. And once you're in your seat, once you feel at a comfortable social distance, and there, again, our, our pews are, are marked off. We're only sitting in every other pew, and they're plenty wide enough uh, to get a couple of people on one on one end, one on the other. So it's easy to social distance once you're inside. And if you feel comfortable, again, Take off your mask and join with us in singing if you feel so led. But again, in the 11 o'clock service, you feel free to keep it on. Uh, I, I want you in church with me. And if, if, if that's uh, what I can do to make that available to you, I'm glad to do that. So again, starting this coming uh, Sunday morning at 9 a.m., masks are optional but encouraged. During 11 o'clock service, we're making them required. Uh, once you're in the sanctuary, you can take that off if you feel so led. So I hope um, hope this made sense to you. Hope that you can um, see your way fit to come and, and join us Sunday morning, either at 9 or 11 a.m. Uh, we're just drive, striving uh, to the best of our ability, as Romans 12, 18 says, if possible, so far as it depends on you, be at peace with all men. And that's our heart's cry is to get our family, our church family at peace together and worshiping one more time. So if you have any questions, you give me a call. I look forward to seeing you Sunday. Bye-bye.